Hi, welcome to Empower India Foundation podcast. I am Mohammad Shafiqur Islam and I am going to talk about my recently published article by Empower India Foundation entitled Relative Difference in Population Growth Rate Among Different Religions in India. According to World Population Prospects 2019, China and India are the world's two most populous countries in 2021 with population of approximately 144 crores and 139 crores respectively. But the annual growth rate of India is substantially higher than China. Moreover, India is ahead of China in terms of population density standing at 416 females per square kilometer. There is a variation not only among the countries but also among religious groups within a country. India is a multi-religious society that has existed throughout uh, recorded history. There are six major religions in India, recognized by the census of India, including Hindu, Muslim, Christian, Sikh, Buddhist and Jain. It is noted that the population growth rate varies among these religious groups. Taking this issue in consideration, the study attempts to analyze the relative growth of different religious groups and to portray the determining factors behind this with some indispensable policy implications. Among all the recognized religious groups, Muslims have reported the highest growth rate of 45.20% from 1951 to 2011 census, while the percentage of Christians remained the same in both the census years, with a no change. The remaining four religions, considerably Hindu, Sikh, Buddhist and Jain have characterized a negative growth till 2011 census. The highest negative growth is found among Jain, that is minus 19.57%, followed by Buddhists, Hindus and Sikh. The population share of Hindus has been decreasing consistently in every decade on one hand, while the population share of Muslim has been increasing in a similar way on the other hand. Apart from these two religions, the other four religions have faced ups and downs throughout the study period, uh, like uh, 1951 to 2011. Being the origin of Hinduism, India is predominantly inhabited by the Hindu population. Census data reveals that the decadal growth rate of all the religious groups, including Hindus, has drawn a considerable declined during 2001 to 2011. In view of the decadal growth rate of 2001 to 2011, all the religious groups remain in their respective positions after the decline from 1991 to 2001. The growth rate has decreased by more than 10% for Muslims, Buddhists and Jains, while other, religious, uh, other religions have seen more than 50% uh, though they occupy 10.81% share of the total population in 2011. Despite holding the majority of the country, Hindus have reported the lowest change of decadal growth rate of only 3.59%. Excluding other religious groups, the highest decadal growth rate noted 24.64% is perceived in favor of Muslims followed by Hindus and Christians. On contrary to this, the lowest decadal growth rate is recorded by Jain who are also the lowest minority among the six recognized religions in India. The growth of population is directly, directly associated with fertility rate. Total fertility rate also varies among the religious groups similar to the percentage of population. During the period of last three consecutive NFHS reports, the highest negative growth of TFR is observed among Muslims with minus 0.97 trillion significantly by Jain, Sikhs and Hindus. Buddhists have secured the lowest negative growth while other religions uh, e 
other religions are reported as the only group of population with positive growth of 0.24. As far as the percentage of growth of TFR between NFHS 2 and NFHS 4 is concerned, Muslims have occupied the third position with 27.02% after Jains and Sikhs. The percentage of TFR growth of Hindus is slightly lower than Muslims, standing at minus 23.38%, but such percentage is almost similar for Christians and Jains, considering minus 18.44% and minus 18.31% respectively. In terms of other religious groups, they constitute 10.30% that may intricate the policy makers for investigating reasons behind such positive growth in TFR. It can be pointed out from the aforesaid discussion that the decadal growth rate of all religious groups in is increasing trend is increasing trend similarly the fertility rate of all religious groups has decreased significantly and the trend line is moving downward while the percentage of population has increased only for muslims it is noteworthy that the number of population has increased for all the religious groups but not only for muslims According to Malthusian growth model, population increases geometrically while food, uh, food production increases arithmetically. So it is a natural phenomenon that population will increase at its pace but we as the human being need to increase the availability of food. Malthusian theory is failed to validate its assumptions when, when we look at the population and development of China. Malthus also assumed that the population increases doubles itself every 25 years if unchecked. That is seemingly failed as per the population growth of India. According to World Bank, the country holds first rank in the, uh, in the world in terms of population while it has a substantial GDP per capita income of $10,500 in 2020, which is almost equal to Russia. In contrary to, India has managed only $1,900 US dollar despite being the second largest populous country. Therefore, it can be drawn that the relative growth of religious population does not impact the economic development of a country. It is the fact that poor people tend to have more number of children because they hope that their children will diminish their poverty by laboring and other forms of informal works once they are grown up. Previous research suggested that Muslims are the most backwards religious community in India. It means that poverty is one of the significant factors of increasing the relative growth of population. Nevertheless, the level of education of Muslims is increasing rapidly in one hand and their fertility rate is decreasing on the other hand. A study published on India by Pew Research Center advocates that Muslims had the highest fertility rate but they also had the steepest drop, of, uh, drop in fertility rates. And during the period of 1992 to 2015, the total fertility rate of Muslims decreased from 4.4 uh, to 2.6 and that of Hindus decreased from 3.3 to 2.1 suggesting that the difference in the birth rate between religious groups in India are much smaller than before. The gap in fertility rate among the religious groups are shrinking in India. It is obvious that Socioeconomic conditions instead of religion are the influencing factors for high Muslim fertility rate. Moreover, poverty, illiteracy and lack of health services are the driving forces of fertility rate. Indifference in assessing all these services 
increase the gap between the religious groups. Muslims have already started the adoption of family planning with the rate of 45% while Hindus are not far away that of 54% and 6 with less than 80%. Therefore, the government sh should make inclusive policies to foster the economic development in the form of providing uh, services for increasing higher education and work opportunities at local level. Such policy interventions may result in reducing the inequality of growth rate among religious groups in India. Thank you so much for listening to me.